this is hydrogen tap had a number of comments on the last video with the focus in the meters showing 28 or 29 amps instead of 15 which I said it was I took another look at it and it definitely was 28 or 29 depending on how the camera sees it uh, what I'm going to show you is the way I look at things perhaps a little different than most and that is because it's always we're always able to move up the ladder to me whether it was 28 or 29 as opposed to 40 or 50 on the last one it was actually 40 it really didn't matter because the amount of gain was so high that to me it didn't matter but what I'm going to show you now is why I make these statements what you're looking at is the focus again and I'm going to show you some interesting things okay we're looking at the famous measuring device again and uh, in just a minute if I can get the minute hand working on here There you go. Okay. One, two, whoops. Okay, let's try that again. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About one second more than I wanted, but okay, we got ten seconds on that to be 150 milliliters. And there's your reading. How is that? Okay. Does that help a little better? That's about what? 16 amps at a little less than 12 volts. I'm having trouble with my system here, but let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's just about ten seconds. I'd like to have gotten that nine. It's not quite. If we were at nine, we'd have about one liter a minute. And as you can see, we can we can keep upping this. There's the uh, setup if you want to see. Improving does not seem to be a problem. The problem is just getting things together. And focus is going to be the cell I put into the car. I'm working on that now. We had a few hours of good sunshine. In case uh, you're wondering about the temperature on this thing. There you go. 90 Fahrenheit. It seems to be holding pretty steady on that. Got to turn it off. It's getting pretty hard to breathe in here. 
So that's the focus cell that I'll be putting into the Honda. I hope this helps anybody. I did get one or two interesting emails about not being able to read the meter. I do appreciate that. I noticed it after I put it up, but I decided to leave it there. Again, we've improved it more today, and I think it'd be easy enough to keep improving this, but I want to get it into the Honda. The Honda's got over 100,000 miles on it. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to even use it. So... The good news is that uh, hopefully we'll have a few more good days here and we'll be able to install that into the system, into the Honda. I haven't made, I, I'm doing a few changes on the plates, but with all practicality it's essentially the same focus as you're aware I'm using neutral plates in here I never ever figured I would do that I've had to reverse some of my thinking on the plates I'm sure a lot of you have gotten a big laugh over that and I don't blame you I uh, was a long time holdout but I do believe they work now, it's a matter of understanding how they work. I believe a, a liter a minute is more than enough to work in the car to offset the energy it's using, to offset the gas. For any of you who are interested in emailing me, you can email me at John Aaron's at hydrogentap.com or you can go to my site hydrogentap.com this is the focus cell that you're looking at here it is not up there now I will be changing everything over to the focus so there will be only the focus there I'll be discontinuing the other cells except for the the very very low end so that people can get an introductory to building cells, but the focus would be my primary cell. It will be running in the Honda and you will see it as I do it. The uh, mileage I'm getting on the Honda that I've been testing all this time while I've been doing these tests is about 26 miles to the gallon and that's running local, that's not highway. What I'm hoping to get by the time I'm through is double that. Again, whether that's going to happen, I don't know, but you're going to see it the same time I do. Again, if you have any questions, you can email me at johnerens at hydrogentap.com. There is a comment I'd like to make, and that is, I notice there's one or two people out there that are using my videos and taking off the headings. I don't know how everybody else views that, but uh, I don't really think that's right. And for those of you who find my video somewhere under somebody else's title, I do appreciate it when you do let me know. I think it says a lot for the people, the name of the people that are doing it. I haven't done much about that. I just feel that it's pretty sad when somebody copies your work and puts their name on top of it. Again, you can email me at johnerens at hydrogentap.com. I'd be glad to hear from you.